Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 391. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to uh, deal with the, the questions asked and answered on the Dumb SEO Facebook group for this week. Uh, with us tonight, uh, we have Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he's also a Google uh, product expert uh, in the AdSense uh, community. David Rosam is a, a leading internet marketer. He's based in West Sussex in the sunny south of the UK, the sunny south of England. Um, Masataki Wasa is uh, based in Wimbledon um, in uh, London. And 100 miles north of London uh, is um, Tim Kappa. Uh, Tim is uh, CEO of onlineownership.com and uh, he's also a Google product expert on the uh, Google My Business community. Uh, you can find Tim at onlineownership.com, David Rosam at davidrosam.com and Masataki Wasa at wasaweb.net. All right, let's have a look at the first question that we have tonight. Um, it's titled, where do I put the following schema? It's from Lauren Engel. It sounds like a question right up to Tim's alley. Um, he said, or she said, uh, where do I put the following schema? I'm working on a site similar to the Emmys organization event or web page my manager is testing slash asking me where they should go um should the web page be on all pages organization for the about page not sure about the event though thanks Okay, so I think I think I mentioned this in, in my answer here. Um, the, the thing that you should crucially remember, Lauren, is that schema uh, markup should actually be marking up things that is on page. Okay, so that is going to kind of give you. That's going to you know if you remember that 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 will kind of guide you into what you're going to be marking up on, on a page, right? Now, organization typically can run site-wide because you're going to have your logo run site-wide. You know, in your footer, you, you typically have your social sharing. You normally have your name, the business name. So that organization, which would be the name, uh, your logo, URL, and, you know, your same as, which is your social media, um, it can run site-wise because it's typically run site-wide on your site. Web page can also run site wide, but you can also be split into articles and things like that. But that depends on what kind of pages you have set up. So depending on what those are, they can also typically run site wide. Event, as I said, an event you're only going to be put that on an event page. An event is when's the event, the date, from to, price, what's it about, things like that. So that you're going to mark up the event. If you've got products, those are typically going to be product markup. Uh, price, size, weight, uh, SK, SK, SKUs, uh, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, is it in stock? Is it out of stock? So if you go back to the, the basics, just remember that schema is meant to be marking up stuff on page, right? Uh, so look at your page and see what it, you know, adequately fits. Thank you, Tim. Now, any more? Cool. Let's um, move on to the next. We've got nine questions tonight. Seven to go. Eight to go. It's titled um, International SEO for Clothing is a bit new for me. Um, it's from Solomon Hohenheim uh, Tesla. Um, and uh, Solomon said, hey, superstars, he's obviously... Chloe Blake knows what's going on. 
Um, he said, um, any advice for an SEO for an expensive, rugged streetwear brand, brand uh, international SEO for clothing is a bit new for me. See, there's a question there from per Perry Barnard. Uh, Perry came out with a nice bagging for Google um, today on Facebook. Yeah, totally. Same thing as what Perry said there. You know, SEO is SEO in that sense. Uh, it's just where you're going to define and find that target market. Uh, um, you know, Perry says sort of like rugged, rugged kind of street where stuff would be great on, you know, social media. Um, then again, and, and but then, yeah, you know, and you can all, you can create all sorts of pretty cool campaigns around that. Um, uh, with social, um, you know, it's rarely, it all depends on the budget and, 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 and what the client wants to go with. Um, a lot of it boils down to budget, but you can also be very creative with budget. Um, especially if this is a streetwear brand, you know, you're not typically going to be looking at, you know, using location agencies. Literally you can find a abandoned patch of dirt and chuck them in there really kind of thing. Um, which is going to cost you and save you on location location agency fees um so yeah you know you can you can be pretty rugged you know you can be pretty uh, pretty creative with it um yeah but you know the, the actual stuff itself in terms of seo you know make sure your products uh look sharp make your product pages um supporting content around those products um, um similar stuff remember to basically you know cross cross sell products what goes with what what would go well with these jeans what trainers would go well with these you know remember to to, to keep up your your um your your your, your cross selling um yeah um sounds like a like sounds like a fun fun challenge this one Cool. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah, I would. Um, I would raise, and I think that uh, uh, I think that Richard Hearn raised it uh, as well. Is that as soon as you start going for international, it's fine if it's all in English or perhaps all in Spanish or something like that. But once you start going into multiples of languages, your your costs and your workload can go go up. Can go up quickly um so if you're doing international seo um you know across different languages yeah look very closely at what you're being expected to do uh, for the client um because uh, it, it can really ramp up in terms of time <clears throat> excuse me i excused you a long time ago david all right, uh, let's uh, move on to the next, um, and it's number uh, three on our run list. Uh, Ines Samir is uh, the poster of the question. It's titled Ranking Drops After Updating Content. Um, Ines goes on to say technical SEO, internal content. Hi, folks. I haven't issue which occurs while updating the internal content of my website, brackets like adding sub articles without, uh, uh, in bracket, without changing my keywords, links, slug, etc. just in internal content. Um, and then I fall down in the ranking as if I'm on the first page of search results, my website uh, falls down to the second page. Just asking for reasonable tips, ideas, or thoughts to solve my problem. Thanks. Um, yeah. Well, uh, Tim. Tim said good things in the community answers. the uh, The thing that hits me when reading this question is saying that you're not changing your keywords. What are you doing here? Are you trying to create more content that to give you more chance to rank on the same keywords that you've been ranking for 
from the the main page uh, it sounds to me as if you might be creating some kind of duplicate um, issue here um, if you want to make um, if you want to make that main page rank for and I'm going to nick this from Tim, Pink Fluffy Elephants. Write more about Pink Fluffy Elephants on the main page. Don't write loads of sub Pink, pink Fluffy Elephants pages. Um, yeah, fairly sure that Pink Fluffy Elephants is a trademark term. Yeah, I, I did. Damn right it is. I, I, did, I did acknowledge, though, the, the, the ownership of, of said trademark. <laughs> 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 Well, as as I was answering Tim's answer here, I thought I could use them, you know, without upsetting him too much. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Anymore? Okay. Let's um, go on to number four on our run list. Uh, this one amused me uh, when I saw it in the run list tonight. The uh, SEO Hitman Service. It's um, from Leanne White, um, and it's number four on our run list. Uh, and Leanne said, so I got this email saying, uh, ever wanted to push some <laughs> ranks down uh, for not playing the game fair? Now you can. We always could. Um, and then um, their, their website, which I won't put here, but it is a company that says it utilizes sophisticated link building technologies um, to attack web pages with negative spam links. So you pay them a fee, a point from 200,000 to 1.5 million negative backlinks uh, to your competitors. It's uh, Leanna's written competitions, but Fairly sure that should be um, competitors. Um, depending on how much you pay. It's a little disconcerting that someone is advertising this sort of uh, crap that could uh, potentially destroy someone's website and business. Is there a way of reporting their website or is it just another scam? Uh, how would you... Um, how would you point 1.5 million links to a website? Fairly easily. Um, yes, guys, uh, what, um, what say you? Yeah, so look, this, is, this has been around, negative SEO has been around for quite some time. The thing that you need to remember is that there needs to be a lot of it. There needs to be, now nowadays, you know, it needs to be fairly creative in the sense of your act, these are meant to look actually like, um, you know, uh, links against um, webmaster guidelines. So, um, you know, Google's become pretty sophisticated over the years in terms of um, uh, detecting like what is just complete crap, like stuff that just self-generates, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Google doesn't always get that right, and I would sort of typically wouldn't trust it. The other thing you've got to remember is that, let's say, let's say for example, someone did point 1.5 million links to your site, right? Now, those are typically, those 1.5 million are typically going to be over, if you think about it, it's not going to be 1.5 million individual pages as such, or it could be, but it's going to be over a handful of domains, right? Um, because these need to be created en masse, multiple, at, at a time, you see. So if anybody's going to create these, over, you know, like instantly, overnight 1.5 million it's going to be on mass across a handful of domains right it's it's not going to be 1.5 million individual domains right so equally google's not going to be indexing all of this because 99 percent of the time <laughs> you know those internal mass pages on these shit sites 
you know, it might take Google six months to a year to even freaking figure and find one of them. Okay. So the point being is as they start coming through and as due diligence, as they start coming through, you notice things, either if you're using normal, uh, normal, you know, like um, normal tools out there, Ahrefs, SEMrush, you know, any, any, any sort of tools out there, or even search console, as you do in your regular due diligence, as you notice something that's pretty rubbish pop up, just disavow the domain. And that's probably, you know, like literally, you know, you may, like I said, you may end up having to disavow 20 domains or so that are coming from these, but that's essentially all it's going to be. It's like when they say 1.5 million, just, you know, like calm down and just think, <laughs> actually, how's that logically possible? Ah, it's not going to be 1.5 million domains, right? Or from pages within, within that. It's going to literally be 20 domains, if that, or maybe more. Let's see, even if it was 50, that's nothing, you know? And as they pop in, just disavow the bugger, right? Job done. It's not like 1.5 million freaking links that you're going to have to go through. This is this is not really a problem to deal with in that sense. Okay, it's um, covered. I think the essay the other day send send me a, an email about quality. Uh, uh, quality um, blog writing services on quality domains. Is, is it like this? Hmm. Okay, let's go to number, uh, what, what is it, number five on our run list? Um, Powell Melanowski. And um, it's titled, I have several websites divided into region and services. Um, I won't go through the lot, but the um, structure that Powell uh, is um, wanting us to discuss, it can be seen on, on the uh, um, Dome SEO Questions Facebook uh, group. Um, but as you can see here on your screen, now um, uh, it's fairly um, basic um, website. Um, anyway, he said currently all websites are on one hosting and connected to one Google Search Console account. Um, he said I plan to move all pages from Service Two to another hosting. Um, will this action lead to any? Uh, and negative results. By the way, I must thank uh, Tim Capper and Richard Hearn for all the, all the questions that you guys have covered so so much uh, this week. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, have a have at it. Um, what 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 do you think? So. Look, you know, without seeing this or just giving us some examples, it's a bit difficult to say. But personally, I wouldn't be linking multiple, multiple like uh, services across to the same services in different domains. Like, I, I just, I just don't see, I, I just don't see how how that would work. I, I just honestly don't. Like, without seeing it. I, I don't think that's wise. Uh, um, like, but if you, on the other hand, had created multiple directory type kind of things that was kind of pushing each different sort of thing, yeah, you know, I guess you could. But even then, it's still going to be like, it, it's still, it, it's still, all, it still really depends on on what the the purpose is. Um, but just on what you have said, uh, like I, I would, I would probably wouldn't. I mean, I just don't think so. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm in agreement. I think I'm not, I'm not quite. I can't actually visualise what's going on here. Um, but all the time, there, someone says, "Will this lead to any negative results?" I start wondering whether people are trying to. To, to manipulate SEO, you know this this thing we do. Um, are you trying to get some kind of um, some some kind of advantage 
out of this. Um, and if you're thinking that way, don't. If there's a reason for it, like you're going to sell more because people will see stuff that they they want to see, then perhaps. But don't don't start thinking that if you start linking from here to there, this page will start ranking better and whatever. Um, yeah, it's difficult to see without. It's difficult to visualize. I may be being rude to Pavel without any reason, but it sounds like there's some kind of manipulation uh, going on here, potentially. Yep. Okay. Does that cover it for? Um... I have several websites divided into region and services. Okay. Rolling uh, along for push screens, a question um, providing a rough estimate as the title. Chris went on to say, hi guys, for sales pitches, sometimes prospects want a forecast estimate on how much revenue slash conversions they can expect um, with SEO with the full campaign. Obviously, there are a large number of variables in play to predict this. But just wondering, has anyone seen uh, any good processes um, to provide a rough estimate? There, um, I don't know if it's still around, but there was a service, um, a tool that claimed to do this. Um, I remember being pitched by them at, um, um, at Brighton SEO a few years back. Um, and the idea was that they would basically put together the, uh, the service would, would uh, put together um, the, um, the bare bones, in effect, of a, um, of a proposal for you. Um, and uh, within this thing was, was, a, um, was an idea of, how much this would work, how, how much this would pay back. Um, I thought the thing was absolutely scary because I wasn't willing to uh, put my, uh, my bet uh, on, uh, on their bet, if you see what I mean. If they say there's going to be 150% increase in revenue over the next six months um, and I've got to actually produce that, uh, that sounds like a, a bad thing, but um, maybe I I didn't rec uh, didn't uh, understand what they were saying, but that's what it seemed to seem to come to. Um, so yes, there is something out there that does something like this, or at least there was. Um, um, oh, someone said, um, "Was that you, uh, Tim?" No, uh, no, no, it wasn't me. I was on mute. Um, um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I remember Dijon SEO over the years has, uh, I'm sure, different different articles and um, things he's been on. Check on their site um, that where they how that they, they've used different data spreadsheets. Um, plus estimated traffic etc but it's not on revenue it's based on click-through organic increase and things like that um like revenue would be pretty i mean that would be pretty scary considering yeah yeah i don't know but uh, i know dijon seo has done stuff on that articles uh webinars so have a look at their site. Uh, um, they're probably down there somewhere. Thank you, Tim. Anybody else? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm still. Okay, we're up to number seven on our run list. It's uh, titled "Having a Lot of Similar Sounding uh, Domains." Um, and it's from Ansharina Lim. Um, she goes on to say, need help, full colon. Hi, I just want to ask my client 
um, my client was under the impression that having a lot of similar sounding domains was somehow useful for SEO. They have registered a lot of domain names related to our business. Um, should we put uh, landing pages on these domains to help SEO or drive traffic to our main site? How will it affect SEO? Not sure if this is ethical or some black hat uh, technique. Um, any uh, recommended strategy on how we can leverage these domains? Uh, thank you in advance. Um, this is a waste of time and money, I feel. Um, take your one site and put your effort and budget into it and carefully forget the others. Yeah. Uh, some interesting responses which can be seen uh, um, either on the screen here or, or uh, at the WCA Questions Facebook group. Okay, let's go to the next. No, nobody else is there? Okay. Chris Green's uh, got one, it's question eight. Um, category keywords dropped after breadcrumbs were implemented. Um, Chris said, hi guys, uh, we recently implemented breadcrumbs across an e-commerce site and the category keywords dropped aggressively soon after this was implemented. I'm pretty sure it was the breadcrumbs uh, internal over optimization maybe of anchor text. Um, the breadcrumbs are the exact keywords we want the category pages to rank for. Uh, not sure to weight it out, um, brackets Google Dance, or reverse it. That's a weird one, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I mean, considering um, like breadcrumbs are baked into pretty much every kind of e-com site on the face of the earth, um, I I think Google is pretty well versed in understanding breadcrumbs. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, is that Google, Tim? Yes, that was, that was Google's idea. That that was the that was just, reverse from Google. She's <laughs> listening to me all the time. She's. she's I don't she, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, um, I, 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 Google. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm kind of hard pushed to see how breadcrumbs did this. Yeah, I would write this out a little bit. You know, there's been a fair bit of flux going on. I would write this out for a little bit, man. I wouldn't make any hasty decisions. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be looking for, um, no index, something like that. Uh, I've been looking at some butter and jam to go with the real problems, but no, I agree with Tim. The uh, I think that this is more than likely to be something to do with the problems that uh, Google has uh, been having with indexing. Um, you know, the, these these things tend to happen. Google has a nasty habit of. Uh, of kind of overreacting to changes on websites occasionally and you know i my, my inclination if i can manage to 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 stop myself from panicking about it is that you should leave it and see what happens because normally it sorts itself out but it might be you know it's 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 a it's a bugger of a thing with, with an e-commerce site you know if if uh uh, if the uh, category uh, keywords have dropped aggressively, 
uh, what's that doing to your revenue? So, you know, you won't want to, to sit it out for too many weeks. Yeah, fair enough. Any more? Okay, number nine on our run list from Nikki Branko. A lot of new names uh, appearing on our run list. That's really great to see. Um, anyway, Nikki asked a question titled, uh, do I need to verify the non dub 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 version? Um, Nikki said, uh, hi, I'm not sure if anyone can advise. I've verified uh, my domain, https for colon slash slash dub 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 version um, with Google Console. Do I need to verify the non dub 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 version as well? And if so, uh, do I type https for colon slash slash uh, and then domain um, without dub dub dub? Thank you in advance. No, you can do, it won't be a problem, but I would, you, you don't need to bother without the dub dub. Uh, just make sure that your non dub dub version um, is properly uh, redirecting to your dub dub version. That's, that's the only thing you need to just double check on, make sure that that's, uh, you've got the proper uh, redirect and price. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Any more? No, okay. all there is to say on it. Right. Um, right, I know when I uh, click this button, um, we're, we're going to uh, go to thank you for watching time. <laughs> again, we, we've done it again, guys. Uh, we've answered all of the questions uh, um, already asked and answered uh, on the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, and before we go, I, I must thank the, the people, all the people who uh, um, answer uh, through the week, and especially you guys, uh, because uh, every week you turn up and uh, um, we don't know what we're going to, to, to be faced with. Um, and um, I, I think I uh, have a... Over um, nearly 400 episodes, I think there might have been one or two time questions that we haven't been able to answer. Anyway, I think we need I think we need a global meet for that, man. Yeah, I I, I think we, you you guys should come over here. Oh, it's funny how we have to fly the six. Six thousand hours to get here <laughs> fast. <laughs> I'm only collecting all the grog. You know, oh, right. the grog over there. <laughs> yeah, fine. That's done. We're going to have to organise a a a massive a massive uh, thing. We yeah. I think the word is invasion. Yes, we will. We shall come and retake the land. <laughs> uh, dear. Well, actually, we've got to wait on um, um, this virus thing, don't we? No, oh, I know. I know. It won't be till. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. It's going to be a while. Cube with loads of viruses. No way. You make sure you don't get sick, Messa. Anyway, all right. Um, okay, so um, we'll be back at the same time next week. Um, but until then, it's good night. Um, hang on, how do I turn this thing off? Um, I can't remember. Let me see. You unplug it and then you plug it in again. Stop recording. That's it. I found it. Okay.